Hello guys, today I'm going to tell you the important details that you need to know about Game Master and what are the techniques and skills. So if you're interested on that, keep on watching the video and enjoy! Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use the skill of a Game Master and what are the talents and some stuff. Uh, just a heads up guys, I'm not really pro using this class, but I'm just going to share what I know about this class. And for all those people who are so pro using this class, if I do something wrong, please correct me, comment down below, and if you have something to share, please comment down below. And I'm really sorry about the background noise because there's a party in here and I couldn't stop them. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead with the skills and some stuff. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to teach you guys is, uh, you guys can see the skills of number 1 until 6. These skills are, uh, damage is a single enemy, a skill that damage a single enemy. This is corrosive slashes. This is the most skill that I always wanted to use because the animation is really simple. It doesn't do crazy animation. But the number three, we have core, uh, core slash, and this one I kind of hate it because of the animation. We go in circles. It's just crazy because when you use it, sometimes the skill got delayed, and I don't like it. And then the number four, this is like a bull charge on a warlord. Just like that and then once you use it there's another skill that pops up and it's an aoe skill that um what you call that that allows you to boot charge as well but it's just that it's an aoe all right so in number five this is electromagnetic strike it has something to do with number three because uh wh when you if you wanted to use this and if you wanted to proc the uh, the electromagnetic strike the target target loses 1k to 1.8k HP in 500 to 900 MP per tick if you want to proc that you have to use number three first hold on okay so the number one is still clean I haven't touched it so when you use number three it gives the uh, the mob the electromagnetic interference and that's the time it died. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, but yeah, when you use it, and then you're going to use the electromagnetic strike, and then it popped, right? Well, hold on. Let me just use a low level skill. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe this will do. Okay. Alright, so let's try to use number 3 on the mob and put some electromagnetic interference. There you go. And then use number 5. There. It fucked, right? But if the mob doesn't have any electromagnetic interference and you use number 5, it doesn't fuck. You see that? That's how it is. And then our number six, it's, it taunts the mob. I, I usually use this when I'm tanking a boss and I wanted the malice on me. I use this. This one. Alright, so let's uh, now move on to AoE. Um, as far as I know, Game Master or McMaster has a three AoE, which is the Endless Assault, this one, and overclocking lightning core and black hole core just two all right so let's move on to lightning core forced forced <laughs> first i'd like i'd like to use this when i'm in pvp or in mutated dungeon because uh when i get stunned and i can't move then the mobs is beside me or the enemy is beside me and you can't use endless assault this is the time i use overclocking because when you use it there's four unique skill that that gave you and number one it's an aoe i usually use that especially if i have five stock of storm charge and i have ethereal beauty pop it's really it's really fast i swear it's real cool it's just the same with black hole core um it gave four unique skill and then this is endless assault this is i think this is the most famous skill of the game master because uh, with just one skill, everything dies. <laughs> and how, what else? This too is just a party bop. 
I usually use this because of deep defense and this one is for attack speed and then this one this is this is the a uh, high level skill I really like this skill because whenever I'm tanking I usually do this I don't die that much here especially in PvP you want you to use this it is really helpful all right so let's move on to storm charge and ground cracking this too is is a buff to you when you use it this is uh it's stuck until five see that stuck off into five this is uh the same as ground cracking you can only use one uh if you use storm charge then it's storm charge if you use ground cracking it removes the storm charge and you have the ground cracking charge i usually use ground cracking charge if I'm tanking and in PvP, and then uh, Storm Charge when I'm in PvE and in Battlefield. Yeah. And this two, it has something to do with this two. Okay. So, first, I'd like to explain about Mecha Fury and Core Crisis. Mecha Fury is for, uh, it reduces the damage that you take when you use it. But once you use it, it lasts for 30 minutes, so you, you don't have to worry about it the same as core crisis it's just that core crisis gave you crit rate so let's try it let's use core crisis there you go and then when you attack the mob it's stuck off until 220 and your crit rate increases as it's stuck off into 20 see that all right sorry i cut off and yeah it has something to do with the skill the transforming core life and recharge it's because when you uh, when core crisis or mega fury stuck off into 20 and then you don't have much any hp don't have much hp uh, let's say like that right there you and you have to heal when the core crisis is in 20 or mega fury you just have to use transforming core light because it recovers 30 percent of your hp just like that and uh on recharge transforming core recharge uh, the only difference is that this is a damage it increases your damage right I really I like this most because it heals you but when I'm in PvE and the mob doesn't uh, really damage me that much that give doesn't give me any damage I use this one and then this one it gives you a charge and you can teleport to the enemy if you I mean to your you can teleport to your teammates and some stuff like this this is not my teammate so I, I didn't teleport <laughs> and then this one is for nuclear fission it removes one of the negative debuff that you have and what else oh this two is for a uh, range attack I usually use this one because it uh, it reduces the targets attack speed and this is real cool. but this one I don't really use this because it has a casting speed it's not insta cast so I kind of hate it like that what else what did I miss what skill did I miss oh yeah we um about the rechargeable core this one this is really important guys to for you to have it's because without this you can't use any skill at all not any some of the skills you can't use it especially endless assault preservation and this two this nuclear charge and the overclocking you can't use those if without it so what you want to have what you want to do to have a rechargeable core is always use storm charge in ground cracking and it gives you um, rechargeable core or if you want to have five, uh, five instantly rechargeable core, you're gonna use recharge mecha. It's just that it has a casting speed, so I really don't use it that much. Mm. What else? Um. Oh, the talents. Okay, so about the talents, I usually use Mecha Warrior just to uh, walk faster because it gives you movement speed eight percent and the melee attack. I usually use this when I'm doing MBK because I have enough defense and I don't need more defense so I just need movement speed so I use this 
but if you don't have any defense and, and some stuff you can use brawler that gives you defense and magic defense and it's really it's really helpful and one more thing guys if you're doing PBE you wanted to use damping enchantment because it's really uh, useful especially when you're being ganked by mobs and you do endless assault once you do that uh, some of your skill uh, cool down really fast and it's really cool I usually use this in PvE and then this one this two is for PvP I'm sorry for my talent because I'm I haven't updated it so yeah what else oh yeah for I think one person PM me that he said he told me that when he's in mutated dungeon he can't uh, kill the mob in just one AOE what to do in there what you have to one what you want to do in there is that you're gonna do two endless assault right so how do you do that if your damage is not that high assuming that you have uh, like that two 9k attack and some stuff and you can't one endless assault the mobs doesn't die in one endless assault what you want to do there is Oh, I forgot to hold on. I forgot to explain this preparation. When you're gonna use this is when if you're gonna use this, this uh, reset all the cooldown of your skills. So it, it has something to do with two endless assault. Okay, so let's go on with two endless assault just to kill the mobs. What you wanna do here is that okay, let's just get some charge. What you wanna do here is that pull all your charge until five, and make sure that you have rechargeable core, and then use endless assault. Right? Okay. Use endless assault. Okay. And the mob didn't die, right? If you wanted to do another endless assault, you just have to click uh, preparation and then do endless assault again. See? It's easy. You guys see that the the cooldown is really fast. It's because of the damping damping enchantment that I have. This is really useful, I swear, guys. This is really fun. So that's basically how you do it. And if it's still not dead, you just have to uh, press number one and then do endless assault again. All right. So just a reminder, guys. Don't overdo endless assault. It's because you guys might get stuck in animation so you don't want that and yeah I think that's it that's it <laughs> that's all I can share and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and also guys thank you so much for the 100 subscribers I'm really happy about it thank you so much and for the positive feedback thank you so much guys and yeah if you wanted more of video, comment down below and I will try to make it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Please share this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and see you next time.